Hey guys, following my last video on backing up your system to a NAS on, on a backup on Windows, today we are back again doing a similar backup on Mac using Carbon Copy Cloner. Now if we take a look at the Carbon Copy Cloner version here, you can see that we are running version 6.1.7 of Carbon Copy Cloner. And if we take a look at about my Mac, my Mac is running the latest macOS Simona 14.1 so the beta 1 version of macOS Simona and it is compatible with this version of CCC also through this video I want to address one of the questions asked by one of the viewers on a previous video on Carbon Copy Cloner of how to back up your system or files to another Mac over the network Although, for clarification, we are not going to be using another Mac for today because I don't have another Mac on hand. We are going to be using a similar approach. So Macs, as you guys may know, can also host Samba shares or SMB shares. SMB sharing is one of the most common and popular file sharing and network sharing protocols nowadays. So if we take a look at the destination drives we have here, we can see that I've created a file backup network attached storage device just for this project using the file system or rather the sharing protocol SMB. Now, today we are not going to be backing up our macOS system to the network share because macOS doesn't support booting from the network from SMB shares and the internet speed is rather slow so we are just going to be backing up regular files today and speaking of files let's look at some of the example files that we're going to be backing up today we're going to be backing up from the folder downloads i have some example files placed here as you can see so with that out of the way let's jump back into carbon copy cloner and choose our source for source of course we're going to choose a folder our downloads folder to be exact we click ok and let's look at some settings for advanced settings if you have a shell script feel free to choose it but i don't have one so i'm not going to tweak anything and you can also tweak the safety net select whichever option you want whichever option suits your needs since the files i'm backing up here are rather small i'm not choosing anything when done just click done and now you can select some exclusions, exclude whatever files you want or include whatever files you want. When you are done, again click done. And now we are ready to start our backup. Okay, now that completed rather quickly. Not surprising though, considering the file sizes. Now let's go check out our uh, our share on the network. D downloads, we can see our files right here. And in downloads, let's just get a rough estimate of how much space it takes. 332.2 megabytes for three items. And now let's locate the let's locate the file backup, the drive, the network share. And if we check there, whoops, 2.11 terabytes. Well, it's not showing up right here because I have too much free space, but let's open command I. Let's see, used 303.8 megabytes. So because of some temporary files and temporary cache, we've already consumed more in our downloads folder, in our local folder, than the new copy that we've backed up here. But it's roughly the same. Now I can even show you guys how well these programs work, or rather whether they work. So let's just put a goose on our desktop. Long story short, it surely took a while, but the files did end up working. So bottom line, can Carbon Copy Cloner back up over the network? Yes. But should you back up using CCC over the network? Maybe. Depending on your situation, Time Machine may be a better option for you.
But that effectively concludes today's video. If you found helpful, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel for more future content like this. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.